Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Chastity and my best friend Manny wants us to do a cake decorating contest. <laughs> I think we can win, but um, you have to help me. So here's some strawberry syrup. We definitely need some of that. And then what do you think, sprinkles? That's not the big side. We need the big side. Love. Beautiful, so exciting. And then let's see, cherry on This looks so good. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna try a little bit. Okay, just, just a bite, just a bite, just a. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Miss Chastity, what just happened? We were supposed to be doing a cake decorating contest. Did you want some? Mm, no, you can have it, thanks. Boys and girls, we are so excited for our brand new series called Plate It. It's cooking themed, and we are talking all about prophets from the Old Testament and how they prepared, just like we prepare meals, for what was to come. And here's a hint. They were preparing people for the coming of Jesus. It's so amazing, it's gonna be super fun. We hope you join us every week, and we've got news. If you're new, text in your name and the word new to the number on the screen, and we'll start sending you mail. We send mail out every single week to all of our friends. We send color sheets, prizes, letters. You're gonna love it, it's gonna be awesome. And boys and girls, we, oh, Miss Chastity. Well, we were supposed to judge whose cake was better, but I think- Yours was better. <laughs> boys and girls, we hope you enjoy our brand new series called Plate It. Bye! Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Chastity and whether you're joining us in person or online, we are so thankful that you're here with us today. So we're still in our series Plate It and that's so exciting because we've been talking about the prophets of the Old Testament and how they prepared people for who? Oh, Jesus. You're right. Good job. Oh, 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 oh. that sound means that our big idea is hot and ready boys and girls and it says Step three, talk to God. Amazing, say that with me. Step three, talk to God. Good job, boys and girls. Now, before we get any further, let's pray. Everybody get nice and quiet and let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for such a fun series, God. We've had so much fun learning about the prophets of the Old Testament and how they just really turned us to learn about you. Jesus, we're so thankful for what you did on the cross and we can't wait to learn more about that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good job, boys and girls. Now we need to get to our song. I'll see you in just a second. The wonders of your love are never dull to us. Every day with you somehow feels brand new. You give us all you are without a second thought we'll never get used to. Shout for all your goodness The dance cause you can't help it By your Holy Spirit
Welcome back, boys and girls, and great job worshiping. That was so awesome. All right, let's get back into our Bible story. So today we're talking about a prophet, right? And his name is Samuel. So let's get into the Bible and let's see what they say about prophets. So we are in Hebrews 1, 1 through 2. And it says, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. Oh, okay, boys and girls. So basically that said that we used to have prophets and that's how we would hear from God. And, but now we have Jesus, so he's our final prophet and we don't need prophets today. Hmm, okay, that's a lot to think about. So let's watch this video about Samuel and learn a little bit more about prophets. God's story, Samuel. So part of God's story is about Samuel and it goes like this. Samuel was a prophet, or a person who hears from God and shares God's messages with others. And everything God says is true. The first time Samuel heard from God, he was actually a kid. One night when Samuel was sleeping, he heard someone calling his name. This might have seemed really strange. So Samuel woke up and thought Eli, who lived in the same place, was calling for him. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me? But Eli said, I did not call you. Go, lie back down. So Samuel lay back down. Then he heard his name again. He ran to Eli a second time and said, Here I am, you called me? And Eli said, again, I did not call you. Go, lie back down. This must have been really confusing. Samuel lay back down, and then it happened again. When he ran to Eli a third time, Eli thought it might be God who was talking to Samuel. Eli said, Go and lie down. If someone calls out to you again, say, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Samuel obeyed. When he heard someone say, Samuel, he answered, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. And you know what? It was God. And God had lots of things to say to Samuel. God told Samuel some difficult news that he had to deliver to Eli. Now, Eli was a priest, but had made some wrong choices, so God told Samuel that Eli wasn't going to be allowed to be a priest anymore. Samuel was scared because he was pretty sure Eli was going to get upset, but Samuel obeyed God anyway. At first, Eli was upset. But then Eli said, he is the Lord. Let him do what he thinks is best. See, sometimes people don't like hearing what God has to say, but a prophet has to care more about what God says than what people say. When Samuel grew up, the Israelites asked him to pick someone to be their king. Samuel wasn't sure this was what God wanted, so he asked God about it. God said, tomorrow I will send a man to you. He is from the land of Benjamin. He is the one I have picked to be king of Israel. Sure enough, the next day, a tall, strong man came to Samuel. When Samuel looked at him, he heard God say, He is the man I told you about. His name is Saul. He will rule over my people. Samuel heard what God told him to do, and he obeyed. Samuel anointed Saul as a symbol that God had picked him to be king. But Saul ended up being pretty selfish and making a lot of wrong choices. And when God said it was time to replace Saul with a new king, God sent Samuel to anoint a shepherd boy, the youngest and smallest of his brothers, named David. David also heard from God and obeyed, and David grew up to be the greatest king Israel ever had, until a long time later, when a boy named Jesus was born. Even as a kid, Jesus showed people around him how to hear from God and obey. See, everyone can hear from God. Kids, grown-ups, kings, cowboys, moms, Dads, mimes, teachers, astronauts, bird watchers, bird watching mimes, everyone. We can hear from him in the middle of the night when we're trying to sleep. Or we might hear something that surprises us. But we don't have to be a grown up or a prophet or a king in order for God to notice us and for us to hear from him. It's like when God told Samuel, the Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And that's a little about the story of Samuel. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Samuel was a boy who heard from God. God talked to him in the middle of the night. God told Samuel to make Saul a king. 
Later, God told Samuel to make David king. Samuel heard from God and obeyed. We can hear from God too. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, boys and girls, that was such a fun video. Now in that video, we really learned that Samuel talked to God. Wait a second, that's just like our big idea. Step three, talk to God. And you know where else it says to talk to God? In this cookbook, I mean Bible, right? In this Bible, so many wonderful things. And it really teaches us just like a cookbook, how to prepare ourselves, right? How to be just like Jesus. And it talks a little bit about prayer. And that's so amazing. Now, boys and girls, another thing that we have to do that has to do with this Bible is our memory verse. And I heard that you guys have someone really fun here to do our memory verse. We'll see you right after that. Hello boys and girls, my name is Buttersock and my golden rule is add more butter! <laughs> I'm here to do the memory verse with you. We are in Ephesians 2.10 for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Good job boys and girls! Now, all together, let's spread the love of Jesus. Good job, chef's kiss. Now get out of my kitchen. Ha ha ha, bye bye. Hello boys and girls, and welcome back to another segment of Nailed It. Now Sassafras Sally is here with us again, and uh, last time I didn't do so good, Sassafras. Yeah, you so, didn't do so well. Why don't you tell the boys and girls about the ingredients, and then I am going to um, try and do better this time. All right, so for this time, Chastity and I used um, jelly, we used bread, we used chips, and we used peanut butter. Yeah, and you know, you had me at bread, yeah. you had me at jelly, you really had me at peanut butter, I will say. Did someone say butter? Butter sock, we didn't say butter, we said peanut butter. Can you believe this guy? Right, I know. <laughs> but you had me at all those ingredients, but you lost me at chips. I don't really think that those all go together. Right, but remember our big idea for this week. Talk to God, just like Samuel talked to God when he had doubts and fears. That's right, when I have doubts and fears, I can talk to God about that. Okay, so I think I'm done. So are you ready to reveal? Absolutely, say it with me, boys and girls. Three, two, one. Nailed it. Bless your heart. Those That does not do look not, quite well. Those do not look the same. Yeah, they That's, sure don't. Um, but you know what? That Tell reminds me. What. me that reminds me of our lesson, right? And, um, and and Samuel talked to God. And so this reminds me of something called a prayer sandwich. Oh. And so boys and girls, there's many different types of ways that you can pray. There's not just one perfect way to pray, but this is just one fun way that you can remember the things that you wanna pray for. So first is the bread. And the bread is like saying, dear Jesus, right? That's how we started out. Then you have the jelly. And the jelly reminds us about to pray for all of the sweet things in our life. like. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful house I live in. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my family. And then the peanut butter reminds us to pray for the bitter things in our life. Like, dear God, please help me do well on this test. Or, dear God, I'm having a really hard day. Can you just be with me? And then the chips remind us to pray for all of the little extra things, right? The little things that come into our mind. Dear Jesus, pray for the hurricane victims and I pray for those people overseas. And then you end it all with your other piece of bread by saying, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. That is so much fun. And I hope you guys are able to remember another way to pray. Sassafras Sally, it was so much fun having you. Thank you. Boys and girls, remember that Jesus loves you and we do too. Bye. Bye.